kicker Chris Boswell has it ready to go, and we are underway from Pittsburgh. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Now Browning. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Here's second and ten. Here's Browning. And the catch made, it's Tyler Boyd. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. An early test, two plays in, this is third and two. To throw, Browning. And that is taken in by Boyd. And he is going to have a Bengals first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. But they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain. So they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now a three-time 1,000-yard rusher, Joe Mixon. And a missed tackle there as he pushes forward for a gain of four. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Looking to throw on second down. Browning. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked off by Mika Fitzpatrick. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six for a Steeler touchdown. Chris Boswell now for the extra point. And he'll put it through to make it 7-0 Steelers. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result had he opted for the touchback. Cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second drive. Remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. An excellent run there coming from out wide. And we used to consider these jet sweeps to be gadget plays or something a little bit unusual, right? But now most teams have some version of this play in their playbook. And I think it's a lot because of the receivers that are being developed nowadays. These guys look like running backs, even though they're playing out on the perimeter. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. It's a game of eight. Brings up second and two at 
From the 48-yard line, here's second down and two. Off play action, Browning. And that's off the mark, incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job there, picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Looking to throw. Browning. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, a pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least, it'll be fourth down. But nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're saying. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. The Steelers offense set for their first possession here, and it's Kenny Pickett who will lead the way, the second-year man, Charles, from Pitt. And when you watch Kenny Pickett play, you see a young man who got better every season in college and really blossomed in his final campaign, took his game to a new level, and made him a first-round pick in the NFL. He's the type of kid who can beat you with his mind, beat you with his arm, and occasionally with his legs. A tough, skilled performer. Kenny Pickett, he's got some moxie to him. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Pickett looking to throw on second down. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Looking to throw, pick it. And this one is incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. On fourth down, here's Presley Harvin on to punt. Back deep for Cincinnati, the rookie Charlie Jones. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Bengals take over first and 10. Cincinnati set to take over once again. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? And a lot of times, these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. Just need a yard here, second and one. Inside handoff to Mixon. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Seven yards there and a first down. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. On first and 10, Browning. Short throw to Smith. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. I like the thought process. I like the design. But I think he may have waited a little too long to spot his man because if you're going to run that drag route, 
You've got to put it on him and let him turn up field. Instead, he waits until his receiver's too close to the sideline and they don't get the yards after the catch. Throwing again on second down. Browning. Call it a gain of six on the play. And now it's third and three. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Bengals first down, and he was able to get it by plenty. A gain of eight on third and three. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Bengals in control of the football as they've got it with a first and ten. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. The end result, 21 yards. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Back to throw again. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Now a second and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. And his throw's going to be incomplete. That play call wasn't there for them against that coverage. So they're going to spin the dial now in their playbook and come up with one more shot at the marker to try and keep this series going. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Got a man. It's Chase. He completes it. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. A very important third down conversion right there because when you're trailing and find yourself this deep in enemy territory, the kicker's not even part of your thought process. You got to make it pay off with 6. Nice connection right there to set up first and goal. They'll look to throw again. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. Alex Highsmith making the nice play and getting the sack. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, they took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, it still definitely hurts. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Back to throw, Browning. And he's taken to the ground, but he was pulled down by the face mask. Here come the flags, and I believe this is going to be a first down. So a potential big play by this defense wiped out by the face mask. And disappointing because it was so unnecessary. They had the sack. But the officials are definitely keeping a close eye on the quarterback, especially the referee. They were able to spot that one immediately. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Four yards to go on second down from the seven. Operating from the gun, Browning. Open man is Chase complete. 
And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. So that'll go as a four-yard loss on the play. And third and eight now. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Over the middle to Smith. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Boy, this is a well-orchestrated drive they've put together. You think back to how far they were backed up to start things out, but they've gone on a march since then, and now after that completion there, they've got a first and goal. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Off the play fake, Browning. And they're going to get to him, a sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. So a tug on the face mask, and that's going to cost him 15 yards. And sometimes it'll go unnoticed, but that one, pretty obvious for everyone to see. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Two minutes on the clock. Second quarter. 7-0 ball game. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Mixon will take this one in. Touchdown, Cincinnati. I tell you what, this was a much-needed drive and a much-needed touchdown at the end of this drive. They had not done much of anything in this first half, but here they put all the pieces together and they get the score right before the half. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And we are tied at seven. That drive, a long one, spanning 15 plays. And it all culminated in the touchdown run coming from Joe Mixon. Seven now as they kick it away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with a slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. First down now, but that clock rolling. Now pick it. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. Trey Hendrickson showing off his pass rush repertoire that time. Tell you what, he did not have much time there to skin the field before he was ducking and covering. Did it appear to you, as it did to me, that the defensive front won their play really quickly, yeah. meaning the guys in front of them had almost no chance to block them? They were on him in a hurry. Pick it, back to throw. They'll get this complete to Calvin Austin. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. 
And got his man complete. And he'll be ridden out of bounds all the way down at the 15-yard line. A big play there just before halftime. 48 yards. Oftentimes now offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air. Nice chunk of yardage there. And then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. So after the big play, look at this, all the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. Pick it. He'll look to throw it. Got his man. It's Warren. And he's brought down. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. into the end zone for a Steeler touchdown. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play and actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on his stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. Extra point put through by Boswell, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And the Bengal offense going to see the ball one more time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And Browning's throw here into the hands of Boyd. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. First down, Browning able to find Higgins. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. They spot it on the midfield stripe, so it is a 60-yard attempt here. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And this will stay at a seven-point game. I don't care who you are. 60 yards is a very ambitious attempt. Hard to make even in practice in the best of conditions. And now, worst of all, you have the other guys the ball to start their drive. And oh, it'll be intercepted. And nothing comes of this last-ditch attempt at points as time will run out on this first half. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. A 
one touchdown ball game, 14-7. Our scores, we get back at it on EA Sports. This fielded right at the goal line. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Pick it to throw on first down. He'll get this to his tight end. That's Pat Fryermuth. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Harris running straight ahead, and he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is, and really a lot of the time they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance, they're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold him to no gain. And he's brought down. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Well, they obviously red man covers their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Bro? Yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route. Probably thought he was going to take it upfield. Then he curls back inside for the completion. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 43. Pickett will look to throw it here. Over the middle complete. It's Harris. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. Got that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. On second down, this is Harris. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. They got five through the air last play. Now five on the ground, first and ten. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. First down, and they go back to Harris. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Now second and nine. Back to throw, Pickett. Pass complete, George Pickens with it. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals 18. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Pickett. Finding Pickens for another catch. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15. A gain of three. Second and seven. Gonna run the toss here to Harris. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. I like the call. Inside the red zone, running the toss. Why? They want to get to the edges. They want to see if guys who don't normally make a lot of tackles are willing to actually do that. That usually means the guy's in the cornerback position. 
Here's Pickett. Flush to his right. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Oh, Brandon, that's a game of move right there. Facing third down, steps up, calls his own number, and nearly makes the house call. If I'm the coach, I let him take another one right here. Give him a chance to be the first one to hit the end zone after that effort. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Najee Harris, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Steelers take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. But finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three downs, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Boswell good with the extra point, and it's now 21-7. Well, now to kick it away after the touchdown. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. So here are the Bengals now as they get their first possession of this second half. They make their second half debut here, and things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side, so now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because if they don't get some kind of points here, that next drive, that could make this a three-possession game. Now, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Looking to throw. Browning. And that one complete once again to Higgins. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Throwing on first down. Browning, he's going to have the hook up here to chase. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. An unfortunate time for the penalty there. That cancels out a positive play from this offense. Well, not to sound too trite or too accepting, but you and I both know it happens. You got to accept it and move on. Yardage, you got to get back. Focus on the next play and move on. Easy to tell who they're targeting on this drive. He caught the first two passes, but then this time unable to hook up. But I don't think that that stops them from continuing to go back to him, do you? No. I mean, they've got a, they've got a plan. They're trying to execute it. And after that second catch, I saw him in the huddle. He said, hey, let's go back <laughs> one more time. Didn't work there. To throw on second down. Browning. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Well, partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. 
Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Throwing on third and long. Browning. Boyd coming up with a great catch. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 24-yard line. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. The Browning throw there taken in by Smith. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it, and it'll be second down. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. From the 23, here's the second and nine. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. He completes it to Boyd. And out of bounds right around the 20. The offense on third down, they have been superb. Five for six to this point. This will be third and six. Back to throw. Browning. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dive defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. And they'll get this down to the 10. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there and for the offense. They're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. On first and ten, Browning. Yeah, he's got it. And that's good for a pickup of ten yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Looking to throw. Browning looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Quarterback in 101. Never force the ball into double coverage, especially not this close to the goal line. The windows are so tight, you just don't want to force it in there because it could be tipped up and picked off. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bengals. Joe Mixon with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bengals have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back.
After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand-new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all of their timeouts, so we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you've got another thing coming. Yeah, I and mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be. A it's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner, and there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Has to. You said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. Pick it now to throw off the play fake. That is caught. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second and a country mile. They hand this off to Harris. Shifts by him at the 25. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So certainly in a pickle here. They have a mile to go to try to pick up the first. We'll see what they've drawn up. They'll run again. And he's able to get out to the 32 brought down there. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The Steelers send out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Bengals will have a first and ten from deep in their own territory. They'll look to throw. Short throw to Smith. It didn't check off every box, but the most important one. Got the clock stopped, getting out of bounds. They may be a little short of the first down, but I thought that was the key. Second down, eight yards to go. Back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Oh, a contested ball here, and it's going to be caught. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Tyler Boyd, 84 yards. And the Bengals are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. McPherson on for the point after. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. 
Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays. The long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that, because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked the special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? Pickett's throw into the hands of Pickens. Uh, he's been quiet all afternoon. He may have just come up with a play of the day right there, though. Obviously, it's not the volume in what you get done. It's the quality, and that was a quality catch right there. All three timeouts still at their disposal. Here's first and ten now. Here's Pickett. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. Here's second down. Now pick it. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. A big play needed, no doubt. Third and long. Pick it to throw. And that nearly intercepted. Boy, for a guy known for his hands defensively, that's a ball he probably thinks he should have come up with. But instead, it's fourth down. Two huge plays there down the stretch. The sack on second down. Now they force the incompletion. That's going to lead to a do-or-die fourth down. And they look like they've got the confidence right now that no matter what gets thrown against them, whatever play gets run, they have the ability to shut it down. They are just brimming with it right now. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. Here's first and ten. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Shreds the tackle. And he'll find a little space. He gets us up near the ten. And we've got free football. Four quarters done. And we're dead even. We'll have overtime. be the Bengals with the football here to start the overtime session as the kick is away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. 
Throwing to start the drive. Browning. Throw left side complete to Chase. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Charles, you get into these overtime situations, that's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially in a spot as you just described, we're in OT, you've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the plays. Well, they say it's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and that'll make it second down. Shotgun, they run with Mixon. And maybe Shane's in the steel curtain here as the Steeler defense drops him behind the line again. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. And they need five yards on third down here to keep this opening drive of OT alive. Operating from the gun, Browning. This is going to be incomplete. Well, I know you're toward the middle of the field here, but still, fourth down this distance. you got to punt it right. That's definitely the first instinct because you say, okay, let's just play some field position, make sure we don't lose the game here, turn it over in a key spot. But if you feel really good about your trigger guy, <laughs> if you feel great about him, you might want to leave the ball in his hands and let him work his magic. That one sails out of bounds. A side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems he? like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in on. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. Second and 10. On the give, this is Harris. And a short gain here across the 10 to the 12. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And four C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Throwing on third down. Here's Pickett. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Backed up deep in their own territory. They were in search of a cushion, and the cushion was found. And you have to think total game, even in overtime. As a head coach, field position still counts in this spot. So they had to get out from the shadow of their own goal line, get themselves some breathing room. Obviously, that helps them on offense, but it may help their defense, too. Might be necessary here in OT. Across the line and to the ball quickly there, Trey Hendrickson. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. They'll have to deal with a second and 14 now after the loss. Now run straight ahead with Warren. And he'll take this to the 32, a gain of about three. Nickel look here for the Bengals as they try to defend this on third. Pick it now from the gun here. The Bengal pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. Logan Wilson, the one who got in there and dropped him to the ground. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. The Steelers send out their punter now. On for a very important punt here in overtime. 
Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. On first down, Browning out of his hands quickly to Higgins. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Just straight money right there. The biggest drive of the game, a chance to win in overtime. If they've been saving that play, they sure pulled it out at the right time. A huge turn of events there. Just like that, out of danger and up past the 40 now for first and 10. Mixon with a first down carry. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, sometimes as a running back, you've got to be able to improvise when the hole's not where you expect it to be. But in this case, there wasn't any improvisation that he could do that was going to work. Kind of like if you're trying to be a comedian on open mic night at the improv, and you run into a tough crowd. Now Browning. Well, that one sailed a bit, but the catch is still made. Partner, this is a pretty good drive they're putting together, and I know if I'm on the other sideline, that offense, kind of helpless, isn't it? Because they may not touch the football at all because if they go down and score a touchdown, this thing's over. Absolutely, that would write an ending to this script. We'll see what happens. A handoff, running left, mix it. And he'll take it inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. Now a timeout called for by the offense. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. Ball on the 39. Here's second down at seven. They'll stay on the ground. Mix it again. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Well, at that rate, picking up three yards of carry, you and I both know that doesn't cut it in this league in trying to get first downs, unless you're playing four-down football. Then that's a whole different situation, but I don't think that's what they're trying to do here. Third and four, though, is still manageable. On third down, Mixon, and this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw it for a loss. So all eyes now locked on Evan McPherson. And the Steelers signal for another timeout. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. This to win it in overtime. And he got it. The kick is good in overtime. He's able to split the uprights. And the Bengals are going to get out of here with a W.